Okay, today we're going to talk about backing stones and a couple different products you can use to back stones. Right now, I'm mixing together this uh, stuff by uh, Paleo Bond. It's called Paleo Sculpt. Comes in a few different colors. It requires really good mixing though, so your hands are gonna get a good workout. It's definitely easier to use without gloves on but I'm choosing to keep the gloves on because I also want to show you how to use the JB Weld. I mean, there's there's several different two-part epoxies that you can use. You don't have to use JB Weld. You don't have to use PaleoSculpt. You can, there's different brands of both kinds of products. But I just want to show you the difference on using them. And one of the reasons why lapidary artist back stones is because like when you're when you're a silversmith and you're going to set a verisite that has like a soft host or you know royst and turquoise if it's not super duper 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 independently hard and a silversmith sets it in a ring and whoever's wearing the ring bangs it against the wall, you'll have a less chance of fracturing the stone if it's backed than you would if it, if it wasn't. Another reason why people, I mean, aside from stability, another reason why people choose to back stones is because they don't have control over the slab thickness. And like this slab I got, I bought from someone and it's super thin. So, in order to give it some height to work with, well, in order to give it some height to work with, that's another re reason why people back their cabochons and stones. 